Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. I pull up roto window down it. Yeah. I pull up roto window down it. Hi, hotties, kettles, teasters. You're here for hot tea. All commentary is alleged, and in my opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. Then the bitch got on here, bull dagging bitch. Got on here and talking about some. Oh, uh, yes, in the God name it. Bitch, you on here reading scripture. Where the fuck that money at, bitch? Where is the money, Lashonda? Well, it's a lot going on with Sonny Minx and her husband, Jason Moses Monroe, whatever the damn man name is. And truth be told, I'm not here to be hard on Sonny Minx because, like I said, I kind of have a soft spot for her. I think that she's done more than any of the other women on this cast, so I'm not going to give her too much of a hard time. But I am going to talk about her drama and all the shit she got going on behind the scenes. And unfortunately, one of those things are Moses. And see, this is why you should never be bragging about a man especially not ever bragging about a man that you get in a way like her and I don't care what nobody say I've always been pretty consistent when it comes to Sunny Mings I like her and I think she's entertaining but the way she went about you know getting Moses wasn't the best and he's not a prize I've always said he's not a prize I've always said he wasn't shit and why I feel like he's not a prize and not shit is because the way he went about the entire thing and truth be told he's not necessarily a bad guy in my eyes I just think that women should view themselves as a prize and never put themselves in a composite competition or competitive situation with another woman behind a man because you're always going to lose this is the perfect example it doesn't matter who gets the man if you're willing to compete with another woman behind a nasty funky ass man i don't care how much money he has how he carry himself who he is you are always going to be in a losing position and as you can see this is an example of two women fighting over a man and both of them are in losing positions dusty dan trash can stand try to convince the world that Moses or Jason Monroe whoever the hell his name is is this horrible bad person yet you are screaming from the mountaintop that you are so hurt and scorned and broken behind this but in the next breath you're saying that he's not a good person and he does this and he does that and if you really feel that way about him, you should stand on it. Truth be told, I understand that you can be hurt about a situation like that, but if it happens to you, you should always walk away with your head held high because nobody is going to win in a situation or in a space like that. And Dusty Dan is a liar and she's vindictive because the ending of that relationship was already over. She already expressed that. They had been over for six months prior to him getting with Sonny Mink. She already revealed that. She only changed her tune when she realized they were getting really serious. And as far as Sonny Minks go, to be with a man that's in close proximity to a big face hating ass hoe is not something that I would necessarily do because I'm turned off by any man that's in close proximity to any bitch that I find to be disgusting weird or any of the sort but I move with my integrity where it is and with my security and boundaries and self-respect where it is other women move completely different so let's say he was you know reaching out to you because he wanted to speak with you there are certain levels and steps that she should have went through and gone through to secure herself with him or make sure that this wasn't some type of stunt or some type of get back or she wasn't a rebound girl for him and truth be told 90 days when dealing with a man that is jumping around the way that Moses has demonstrated himself to do isn't the best timeline but who am I right I'm just a content creator nobody's perfect people make mistakes but the type of mistakes that Moses are making are due to his ability or lack thereof when it comes to communicating. He's clearly inadequate when it comes to 
communicating, having healthy conversations, and ultimately, in my opinion, leading. Or else he wouldn't be in this situation. How hard is it to pick up your damn phone and call your probation officer, parole officer, and let them know or ask them if you're going to be able to do this, that, and a third? The same thing, really, when it comes to Dusty Dan Trash Can Stan. How hard was it for Moses to really pick up his phone and let her know, like, look... I don't really think I owe you anything, but I want to be respectful to the woman that I'm moving on with, and I don't want to create any friction amongst what she has going on, and I want to let you know that I sought her out. I wanted to be in a relationship with her. She didn't want me, but I wanted her, and I don't want you to think that she was plotting on you, this, that, and the third. I have seen her in close proximity multiple times since me and you have broken up, and she just piqued my interest, this, that, and the third. A real man, in my opinion, opinion he could have went about it that way a real man in my opinion shows that they have good communication skills and they are able to communicate effectively even through these hardships or hard times similar to what Moses is going through and he just doesn't do that and this is an example of when you coddle a man instead of holding them accountable how it can come around and bite you in the ass because instead of people in probably Sonny holding him accountable and saying just hit her up just call her I don't understand why you won't do this that and the third and letting him handle his issues he would probably be a lot further ahead in life but again Sonny couldn't even allow him to handle his issues and speak up for their marriage when it came to Carlos, when it came to Dusty Dan Trash Can Stand, and when it came to a lot of the other cast members. I feel like that's a reflection of his poor character or his character as a whole. And who am I to say that his character is poor, but his communication skills are poor, in my opinion, which is why he feels like he can go out of the state and travel to Alabama without informing his parole officer again. I am not saying he should be perfect or people are perfect, but these are simple things that could be avoided if people held him accountable or held him accountable for his lack of communication skills. It's not cute flaunting a man that can't open up a credit card or flaunting a man that can't communicate effectively or flaunting a man that is in and out of prison. And at this point, we can say it's in and out because he did 15 years and prior to that, per his friend's word, they were bad and they were, you know, hot boys doing all type of crap. He changed his life around just recently and yet he's back in jail for 11 months. Hopefully when he get out, that'll be the last time that he's in jail but we do know that it won't be the last of his problems so now you have a situation where Moses is being sued after being jailed and Sonny might have to potentially pay for Moses settlement and also his restitution and this is all alleged nobody knows at this moment and Sonny Minx is taking a social media break and I doubt these are questions that she would answer it was also reported that Sonny took her live off of her channel because people were saying that it was incriminating evidence in that video but it actually really wouldn't even matter considering so many people had clipped it up and Moses is also being sued for $25,000 and we don't know if Sonny Minx is going to have to pay that or him but he has 11 months in jail and when he get out we don't know where he's going to be getting the finances from other than Sonny. Apparently, Jason Moses Monroe with the business name of Dusty Dan's Kids is being sued by Quick Bridge Funding. Apparently, he had took out a $50,000 loan and it defaulted back in April. They want him to pay attorney's fees and a whole bunch of other stuff. Y'all know, if y'all want all that legal shit, y'all gonna have to go somewhere else for it, baby. I'm just here to give y'all my little gossip, my thoughts, my opinions, and keep it moving. He also defaulted on the credit card that he opened up or that he wasn't supposed to open up. He defaulted on the credit card that he's actually going to jail behind. It's so ridiculous and crazy. I hope he can get out and get his shell, his self situated, get his shit together. I hope that Sunny can pick herself up and I hope that she can get back into the game. I hope she don't let this weigh her down because at the end of the day, everybody got fucking problems, right? I think that she should just take the process with grace. She's already in it and make the best of it. You need to not run. You need to not hide. You need to capitalize off of everything that you can right now 
now in this moment because you only have one time to do it. You have one chance to capitalize off of your entire story and get into the forefront of it. You need to not be walking around sad, depressed, and whatever the case may be. You married this man. You're stuck with him now. You can divorce him if you want and get away scot-free. You still have some time, but you seemingly are super in love with him. Y'all seemingly are about to, you know, get y'all life started and y'all family started. So when it comes to you getting back on the show, you need to walk them hoes down. If they say anything about your relationship, your marriage, if they want to talk about the situation that you have going on with Moses, I think it's smart and strategic for you to be open, honest, and transparent and real with yourself about where you guys are. You don't have to be vulnerable to a whole bunch of bitches on that show that mean you no good because they are not going to accept your vulnerability the way that it should because they're not a girl's group they don't move in unison but if you come back on the show you give a light-hearted version of yourself you're open transparent you walk us through the days the days the day to days of your life you give us a chance to see what home you living in how you decorate it how you design it etc and it's probably not much to it because we don't really like your fashions i'm sorry you need to come with some more fashions but get your fucking head in the game sonny don't go moping around don't get defeated don't lose this you're in a prime position to mold your story just the way that you want you already failed one time by trying to attack the audience and now you should have learned from it and you should know how to move now you could use the audience whether they're saying good or bad bad things to your benefit and get ahead of your story that's all I'm saying. I'm trying to give you the best advice that I can because people are not necessarily not feeling you. People don't like the Moses situation. You can't change nobody's fucking mind about that, but you can show people who you are and people could still like you. You know how many people in the world love Nicki Minaj and can't stand her husband? That's just what it is. Nobody have to like y'all as a unit. If anything, if you have to separate yourself as a brand, stop branding yourself with him because people don't don't fucking like him. Allow people to get a chance to get to know you as an individual and you're just the girl that's married to Moses. Don't surround yourself or center yourself around this marriage and how you guys have come together. Love your marriage, have your marriage, and don't make that the center focus of what you have going on or what people know you for. Allow people to get to know you for other things, Sonny. It's looking bad right now, but you can genuinely capitalize off this and take it to the next level. Don't let people attack you. Don't let them come for you. And don't let them think they're in a better situation than you because of where your husband is right now. Because truth be told, you still winning. Dusty Dan Trash Can Stand still ain't got shit going on for herself. She's still borrowing money and she still can't pull herself up by her bootstraps by the time Moses get out that hoe still not going to be out of her debts and she's still going to be in a fucked up situation because of her spirit so I hope you listening I hope you're not offended and I hope you can genuinely take the take some fucking advice and and get your shit together girl move on you 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 in a decent position don't run off of social media Get your ass the fuck up. Put on some fucking makeup, whether you like it or not. You're on a reality show now. Get your hair done more often. Go and get some cute fucking outfits. You claim you got all this money. Go on Shein or go on Amazon. Go get some cute little clothes to mash ups to just do little lives in. Get your shit together, Sonny. Get your fucking shit together because you got a lot of potential, but you cannot let yourself get defeated by this. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, y'all. Get in the getting the i don't know y'all what what do i be saying don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell don't forget to like okay we, we're done we're, we're bye i just be like all right god it's in your hands you know what i'm saying the last time i came on here on the live people was like oh you seem sad you seem down um you know i'm human I have my moments where it be like, damn, you know what I mean? Where it be like, okay, but it never, I never stay like that. I had actually just went live in the moment because I just wanted to show y'all like a vulnerable side of me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not all gangster, even though I am. I'm not always gangster and on one, you know what I'm saying? I am 
a person who goes through sometimes an emotion and you may feel a way and that's fine to feel that way but don't stay in it I don't say I don't never stay in it because I know my God is in control so I never stay in nothing too long um the one thing I wanted to say though before I get off her and I'm, I'm not gonna stay on her long because sometimes I'll be on her too long uh check out my YouTube channel please log in I have content coming I have content coming I will be going live on YouTube I want to get I want y'all to get to know me I want to talk to y'all I want to chat with y'all I want to answer all your questions I see a lot of com questions coming in and child you know yeah I pull up road of window down it I pull up road of window down it yeah I pull up road of window down it Oh, it's not. 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 It's not.